Webster's defines special as something distinguished by some unusual quality. Between 2000 and 2015, lawmakers held 25 special sessions that cost to taxpayers $3.8 million. The frequency is nothing new. Pete Dunbar represented Pinellas County for 10 years starting in 1978. Uh, every year but one, we were back here uh, for uh, a special session. Dunbar says deadlines, like the 60-day session, make lawmakers more efficient, even if they don't always meet them. But coming back for three days uh, to conclude that unfinished business is better than being here until December. And despite the $200,000 being spent to bring lawmakers back here, that's just a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of money schools are likely to get when this is all over. Senator Lizbeth Benequisto says that the resulting increase for schools, which will top 200 million more, makes the session worth the cost. We're back up here to invest additional money in public education. That's a great use of our time and it is for the benefit of the students across the state, so I think it's a good expenditure, yes. Public schools agree. We wish it would have been done in the regular session, but if this is how it has to come, we believe it's a good investment. And while the extraordinary sessions may not be so special, they are always unpredictable. I've seen several uh, comments that maybe it's not as done a deal as people would like to think that it is. And if Dunbar's right, you heard it here first. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.